What's going on golf fans? Huge update today and that is going to be what EA has announced or leaked or told pretty much the media to drop in any news articles or on their Twitter if you are following their Twitter. There was also a 2K update that we're going to pretty much look at and talk about later on in this video that I actually was not a huge fan of so we'll dive into that but let's first start off with EA Sports. And don't forget, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And that's simply because there's going to be a whole bunch more information throughout this year. You're not going to want to miss, and I'm always going to give you my unbiased, honest opinion, as I have no affiliation with either game. I just want to give you guys the most realistic answers and honest answers as possible. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video so it gets around to as many people as possible, and they all can get this information as well. But let's get right into it. EA Sports today announced when they will be releasing their game and they will be releasing their game they said next spring around the Masters and now obviously their game that was their big their big big announcement last time I made one of these videos was the Masters so I'm pretty sure the game is going to come out just about around the Masters which will be around April 4th to April 10th the next year if they release it that weekend or just before that weekend. So. We have just a little under a year for the EA game. We have no update on whether or not 2K will be releasing a game this year, but they usually do an every other year game, so most likely not. Other big announcements that they had were more towards the gameplay and what to expect when it comes to their game, and that is going to be their major tournaments. They have confirmed there will be the Masters, there will be the PGA Championship, the US Open, and the British Championship all in the game. They haven't announced whether or not those courses specifically will be other than Kiowa, but they have been, they have not made any announcements on whether or not St. Andrews or anything for the 2022 season will be involved into it, but they did say they want to bring the PGA Championship as realistic to the virtual world as they possibly can, which could be a really cool thing. Obviously, we don't exactly know what that fully means. They want to make your virtual experience of winning the PGA Championship just like it is in real life, or they could also possibly tiptoe and this is obviously just my idea maybe tiptoe down more of like a virtual streaming or have some coordination into like a live feed with the leaderboard where you compete against the live leaderboard if you were playing on that week which would be a cool aspect so i don't exactly know how they're going to go in that area but that's kind of like a cool aspect of it they also said they and which i know is a huge thing that a lot of people have said from my last update about ea sports's video game and that's going to be uh, touring professionals. They have confirmed there will be 20, at least 20 touring professionals on all of the leaderboards that you're going to be playing against. And they said they'll pretty much get those 20 people from the top 50 of the PGA Championship at the end of the year. I think that's kind of like a little bonus for the players. If they do really well, they get put in the video game, probably some face scans, so on, so on and so forth. But they have not fully confirmed whether or not you'll be able to play as them, but EA has never really opened up or released a game where you weren't able to play as a specific PGA professional. So I can't really imagine that they would release the game without you being able to play as one of the PGA professionals. The other huge news, which is kind of an untapped market that nobody has really dove into, which I, I fathom is a, going to be a really cool and a fun aspect, which is they have partnered with PGA of America and obviously you know them is the main company or organization you can say as to grow the game. They market the game, they help get more people involved into the game. They're all about the youth movement and teaching them all about the game. Just doing whatever they can to grow this game naturally. And they have partnered with them to add in tutorials and challenges that you're going to be able to play in the EA Sports game where you will not only learn how to play the game better and learn how golf swing mechanics work, but also they said you'll be able to take these tutorials and apply them into the real world and help your game that way. Now you know personally for me that is a huge thing because this entire channel is built on helping people play this game as well as I have my own side where I film myself when I play in the real world and I want to help you guys make your golf games better as well. So that is kind of like a two front that hits home to me right away that I really appreciate. It'd be really cool if they get some instructional videos from PGA coaches, which they said will be in the game giving you instructions, other PGA professional coaches. So that'd be really cool if we get some instructional videos that we can turn to our game, maybe some exclusive content that you don't normally see on YouTube or any other golf channel. That's gonna be some pretty great stuff that EA is gonna be dropping. 
So that's pretty much all for, obviously they're not going to drop all of it if their game is not coming out till next year. So you're gonna really wanna be making sure that you're staying tuned to this channel, staying tuned to all these channels, staying tuned up to the news, follow them on Twitter and just see where it comes. I'm very excited to see what is going to be produced and the game. Obviously they're planning this a year out so they have plenty of time to get all of the updates ready, plenty of time with a PS5, Xbox X, the whole new systems. There's no, there's no excuses when it comes to that market but it's time for them to deliver a product that a lot of people are getting excited for and they're getting so excited simply because 2K is kind of letting us down, or at least me personally, I've been let down by the updates that they have been coming out with. So let's transition into that avenue. Some small updates. The NBA playoffs are here. They have rights all NBA logos and teams, so they are releasing NBA equipment. I don't, obviously, it's free content, so you can never complain about free content, but I, I really don't see the benefit for bringing that into a golf game. Uh, I'm a huge NBA fan, so like, I, I could, I, I'm okay with it, but if you're not a huge NBA fan, or maybe you're not even, you're over or overseas to you guys, but not to me, um, but you're outside of America, that you may not watch the NBA, so you're just kind of like, well, this has completely no relevance to what I actually do, because the game is bigger than just what's in America, and they lack to realize that, because it's golf was built not in America, so it should be catered to people outside of America as well. And the other thing that they have done is they have come out with a new update to the swing mechanics once again. Previously, they took away the red fast. Well, they penalized the red fast. If you haven't seen that, I did a whole video on how big of a penalty it is. They didn't really touch the distances with the red slows, but that's because the red slows have always been a massive push to the right, like twice the distance to the right as what it would go to the left if you're a right-handed golfer. But now they have penalized you on the fast, red fast, and the red slows when it comes to your distance. Both of them are gonna be losing dramatic distance if you are going to the red fast or red slows. That's not just with the drives, that's not just with irons, but that's going to be now with your pitch shots, your your splash shots, your, your flop shots. It's, it's not something that I appreciate, and that's simply because they have so many tempo issues as is. You cannot play one game mode, whether it's a local match, an online society, a anything what it is, a private match, like even calibration. All of their tempos are dramatically different. I can't even play a practice round when it comes to my events, simply because I, I don't want to mess, mess up my tempo and get used to one tempo, because I know it's going to be dramatically different when I get into an online society or when I get playing with two or three other people in a lobby. And that's simply because they just don't have the capacity with their servers and they just lack the ability to continue to develop that. And I can see what they're trying to do. They're, they know EA's on the horizon. They know EA's making a hard push for their game. And they want to come out with a, a big step forward where the community will be like, we're loyal to this because you guys are listening to us. You guys are making moves and making improvements to this game, but in all reality, they keep making step two, three, four forward, trying to listen to the community and what, what we're asking because we want more of a competitive game where people can't just glitch certain things. And in all honesty, it's, it's going in the wrong directions because they're not doing the right things. Because right now, you're either gonna be just playing to protect from the red fast and the red slow, and you're not gonna be able to find the tempo because finding a tempo is damn near impossible as is. It's so, so hard to just hit perfect shots unless you can spend hours and hours and hours and hours and not everyone has the time to spend those hours into the game. So that's, that's not something that I am really have been a very excited about and I, I hope they make some changes moving forward. We have also, I also heard about the glitch where there's certain clubs that you can use that still allow you to do the red fast and there's no penalty for those. So there's just constant mistakes, constant errors, glitches that are always going to be in video games, but I kind of expect now is the time for them to take the big step forward and solidify themselves as EA's on the horizon, but essentially what they're doing is they're just pushing more and more people towards the EA game when it comes out next year, and if EA can bring their servers, and if EA can come up with some sort of creative course design that's somewhat comparable to what 2K is, I think it might be night-night when it comes to PGA Tour 2K21. 
and a lot of people are going to transition to EA because that's where the consistency of the golf game comes, the more realistic physics when it comes to their golf ball and their spin and how it flies. And I think they have some big, big shoes to fill. Obviously, Tiger can only do so much by signing on with that game. They really need to make some big moves moving forward. But that's pretty much going to be it. That's the updates, EA information. Like I said, don't want to be missing any of this information. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And if you already have been subscribed to this channel, let me just thank you so much. We continue to grow this channel a lot further than I've ever expected, especially at this quick of rate. So just thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys all have a great week and uh, stay tuned for more golf content coming forward.